So guys, welcome to The Curve. Today we are going to visit the 15th floor rooftop. I came here to have a drink yesterday and I was invited to do a full presentation. So it's a little bit early, it's 11.30, right before they open, I'm gonna take you inside this building and basically show you one of the most amazing rooftop bar here in Nairobi, all right? So this building here is called The Curve by The Park and it's a very, very nice place. And on the top, you have that beautiful rooftop that shows you different angles of the city. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and take a look. So we are now on the elevator. We hit 15th floor and we are going all the way to the top. Oh, you know what? We forgot to ask someone to give us... Oh, it's going. I thought the floor was not going. <laughs> I thought we needed a special key because it's a little bit early and I don't have a room in this building. So, but it's all good. We're actually going to go up there and, and take a look. When I travel, I really like to have a nice cocktail with a beautiful view. It's something I really, really enjoy doing. So this, I really wanted to show you guys if you you know, want to come over here in Nairobi and you want to go have a drink in a nice place and just see just the beautiful Nairobi skyline. That's why I wanted to come and film over here. Because this is, this is the spot, man. Let's go take a look. So guys, we are here at the 15th floor rooftop and I'm with Nicole, Hi. who's a, you're a hostess here, right? Yes, I am. So how long have you been working here? I've been working here for five months now. Five months. Wow. So I came here to have a drink yesterday and uh, I wanted to film this place to show you guys basically what the place looks like. So should we start checking out this uh, room right here? Yeah. Okay. So this is the restaurant side. It's called the chef's table inside. The chef's table. Okay. So we have a few of the things. Yes. And you can open the kitchen concept. Yes. So you can see how the chefs are preparing the meal for you. Yes. Yes. So this is where they make the food, right? Yes. Okay. This is the kitchen. So that's the kitchen area, guys. They make all the food right in front of you this is nice all right and i noticed like the view in every room is also different yes yeah okay so we have neighboring um you can see park from uh, some, of, some of the park from yes here. You yes you can see south sea south sea the expressway itself yeah okay yeah all right so this is the spot a lot of people come and celebrate birthday parties and stuff like that yes we do hold events yes like birthday parties, baby showers, um, any event, uh, even corporate events we do hold them. You can choose any space that you want from yes. the spaces that we have. We do have five lounges and this is one of them. This is one of them. Yes. Okay, all right. So guys, you can see the different views from here. And that's one thing, you know, Nairobi is still under construction. You know, they keep building and building and building and building. And you see the beautiful skyline of the city over there. So this is the chef's Chef's, chef's table. Okay, sounds good. All right, so let's go to the chef's to the next table. part. Yeah. All right. So what neighborhood is this? This is um, Mombasa Road. Mombasa Road. Okay. All right. So guys, yeah. if you're trying to locate this place, Mombasa Road, yes, and we are actually at the curb by the Park Hotel itself. The Park Hotel. Yeah. yeah. All right. But this is actually the national park. Like this, this is located is the in the national, national park. park. Wow, okay. But there's two entrances, because yesterday we, want, we wanted to go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. It was the, the main entrance of the park. So how do people know how to find this specific one? So you, if you're using Google or you're using Mombasa Road, yes. you usually come to the Cab by the Park Hotel. Okay. It's just um, situated near Next Gen Mall. Yes. Yes. Okay, sounds good. So what is this section over here? This is the chef's table outside. Usually yes. has a view of the park yes. and part of the city. Okay, yes. all right. And then there's a bar up there, but we're gonna finish the video up there. Best thing for last. So you can see a little bit more, you know, if you want like smaller groups, it seems like, duos. You can have your, your date over here. And if you get really, really cold, guys, if you get really, really cold, they have these things that you're familiar with to keep you warm. And one thing I really like is how different every floor is and the different views that it shows, you know? Look at this one. So every section shows you a different view. So what are we looking at on this end over here? This is the intersection and the Nairobi Expressway. Wow. Guys, look how beautiful this highway is. You would think you are somewhere in Europe. I love it. I really, really love it. All right. So let's go to uh, the next spot. All right. This way, we uh -huh. go to the main. All right. 
between mm -hmm. this section here and this is the center, the, the main area. This is the reception. Would you recommend that people make reservations? Do you get really busy or not? Uh, during the weekends, we do get some, so we do get busy sometimes. It yes. depends also with the time of the week. Yes. So from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, sometimes you do get busy. Yeah. So I do, we do recommend that you make reservations so that you can get a table or a seating of your choice. Okay. With a view of your choice. Okay. Yes. But you also do take walkings. We take walkings as well. Okay. So the busiest day are Fridays and Saturdays. And Thursdays sometimes. And Thursdays sometimes. Okay. Wow. And now that you're going to the holiday season, it's going to be, get much busier for you. Yeah. All right. And what are the operating hours? Like, when do you open and close? We open from 1 p.m. and we close from around 11, 12 to even 2 a.m. Also, there, depending with the overflow of guests and the time of the week. Okay, is there a happy hour? Happy hour usually starts from Tuesday to Friday, okay. from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Yes, okay. I love happy hours. So, what does that include? You get double drinks? Happy What's the hour deal? is you buy one, you get one free. Oh man, yes. so I love like this about two Kenya. For the price of one. one. Oh, you cannot miss a happy hour in Kenya. Man, they hook you up. It's nice. So, so. This, is, this is our bar area. We yeah. have two sections. Yeah. We start on this side. This is called the Sunset Lounge. The Sunset Lounge. Yes. It's one of our main bar. Yes. We have a view of the city. Part of the national park and the Nairobi skyline. Okay. Where you can see the sunset. Okay, sounds good. But well, let me show you guys a little bit here. So, the bartender hooked me up with some very strong drinks yesterday, man. What's up, man? You, were you the one here yesterday? Yes. Yeah, yeah, the good drinks, man. Good, strong drinks. I felt so dizzy after one hour. I was like, this is my kind of drinks. <laughs> so, Cosmos, man. I love the Cosmos. They make fun of me because they say it's a girl drink, but it's all right. I still like it though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wow. So, so this is a different view. But if you want to be close to the bartender, this is the spot. You can just order directly from him. He's, uh, he's a really, really good bartender. What's your name, bro? Isaac. Isaac. All right. So shout out to Isaac for the amazing cocktails. All right. So what we're looking at here, these are like uh, apartments, right, or something? These are apartments and people's houses. So and people's houses. Apartments. Okay. All right. I love the beautiful skyline. This is nice right here. It is very oh. You should see it at night. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. I should come and get some nightlight sh uh, shots over here as well. So, what time do you close again? We close at around. Okay, also depending. Sometimes we close at twelve, even eleven, yes. two a.m. Yeah. When that now depends with also overflow of guests, but the view at night is very beautiful. Is that right? It is very beautiful. Wow. Okay. Right on. I keep that in mind. All right. So really nice setup over here. I like the combination of the green and the pink. Shout out to the AKA sorority. You know, that's your colors right here. Pink and green. <laughs> here we go. All right. Is there more right here? Oh, that's just like uh, access to the other side. Yes. Okay. All right. So we are now walking to the cigar lounge. The cigar lounge. Yes. Are you allowed to smoke here? Yes, it is a smoking zone. Oh, it's okay. One of the smoking zones that we have at 15 rooftop. Yes. And it has a view of the park. Yes. And it's a smoking zone because it's also well ventilated. Yes. So that's why this is all popped open like this, so the smoking evaporates. So smoking and also to bring in a bit of sun. Yes. And also it covers up when yes. it's raining and when it's cold. Yes. And we also have warmers for when it's cold at night. Yes. And you can have a view of the beautiful national park. Man, guys, look at this place. You know, that's the Nairobi National Park. Do you know how much it costs to enter the park or is it completely free? You don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, we're gonna find that guys we're because gonna find it. We're Yeah, gonna we're gonna find it because yesterday we drove by, we got in, but uh, I know you have to pay something to enjoy the, the park. Yes. Have you been to the park yet? Not yet. You see what when happens? I was small. When I was small we went to a class trip and that's yeah. all I remember. But the charges usually ranges from if you're uh, if you're a local yes and if you're a foreigner oh it's so a different the, price yes different price yes but yes you should visit the national park absolutely but see what happens when you live somewhere everybody travels around the world to come over here and she lives here and she's just been there it has been so long it's okay I'm, i do the same thing in my city 
Some people who live in Washington never go to the White House because you feel like, I do it next time. Yeah. And you, you never do it. You usually postpone it postpone for something it. else. Yes. Wow. Okay. All right, let's continue. I really like this. This is very nice over here. And then the trees, you have a little bit more. So all my smokers out there, this is for you. You bring your cigars and cigarettes and you can uh, enjoy yourself in this section here. The Smokers Lounge is called, I think. Oh, I see now they even have a logo of a cigarette right here. So this is for the smokers. In the US, they are fighting cigarettes. So you will not have a place like this nowadays anymore. Really? No, no. They just don't want people to smoke. So even outside the restaurant, sometimes they say you cannot smoke here. You know, yeah, so this is very different. Like um, even at airports generally don't have smoking lounges. But when I travel, I see a lot of countries have smoking lounges and stuff like that. Uh, usually in the airports, do you have designated places for smoking? Yes. Yeah, no, that's cool. Very nice uh, smoker's lounge. All right. So anything else you want to share about this amazing place? Uh, 15 welcomes everyone, just everyone. Yes. And it's very welcoming. Yes. The staff are very amazing. The, we have great service. There's great food, great ambience. We usually have DJs on weekends, but when it's well, weekdays, we usually play, play from our playlists. What kind of music do they play? Afrobeats, um, Afrobeats, um, I'm a piano, hip hop, R&B, reggae. Yes. Yes. Okay. We Sounds play good. Everything. Yeah. So yesterday I uh, asked her about uh, the diary system. So I'm not gonna let her get away, you know, without telling me a little bit of her thoughts. So, I've, you know, as you guys know, in Africa, you know, you in many countries you have to pay a diary when you are planning to get married. So I got the perspective of three different. Kenyan gentleman, so I want to hear directly from her how she feels about it. So what do you think about the, the diary system? How does it work here? Because they told me about, like I was saying yesterday, you need like about 90 goats, right? So what's the deal? How do you feel about it? Um, hmm. Everyone has their own opinion. Yes. I'm not going to say mine. I don't want to start a controversy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. But um, in nowadays we've started um, hope, um, not really adapting the modern way of life. Yes. So usually in the olden days they used to pay via goats and cows and other gifts. Yes. Uh, nowadays you can pay money yes. in equivalent to the number of cows you're supposed to pay. Yes. Yes. Okay. So you can either pay via money and maybe now when you're going to now meet the elders, you just bring two or three cows. Yes. Just to for respect. Yes. For respect. So but it's expected that you still pay the diary in most tribes in Kenya, correct? Yes. Just like Cameroon is a it's a very common practice. Yes. Okay, sounds good. Because I was asking them, depending, does it matter if the girl is educated or not? Um, you know, if she's attractive or less attractive. <laughs> you know, I was curious about that and they told me no, it doesn't matter. You always pay X amount. Yes. Now my friend Evans over here, he told me, you talk about goats, you know how much those goats cost? How much is one goat? Right now. Right now. It's like 10,000. 10,000 Kenyan shillings. Yes. And how many dollars is that roughly? Almost a hundred dollars. Almost a hundred bucks. Yeah. yeah, so if somebody's telling you to bring 90 goats, right? That's, that's, a, that's a whole lot of money. That's a whole lot of money. All right. So what is your favorite area here in the restaurant? Where is your spot? I have two. You have two? Yes depending on the time of day. Yeah. Uh, so the cigar lounge is one of my favorites because of the view of the park yes. during the day. Yes. So when it gets at night, the park is usually dark. Yes. Now, after the cigar lounge, my favorite lounge is the generally rooftop bar. Okay. Because of the view of the city at night. Yes. And it has very great ambience. Nice. Yes. Would you say most people that come here are expats or actual locals? A mixture. Okay. I can't give a percentage because yes. we do have both. Yes. Okay, sounds good. Well, thank you so much, Nicole. Yeah. Anything else you want to share about your beautiful city? I'm impressed. I want to live in Nairobi, man. I love this place. <laughs> about my beautiful what? About your beautiful city. Anything else you want to share or something you recommend if someone has never been to your country mm -hmm. and uh, they come out here, have a drink mm -hmm. and try to get their bearing right, what else should they do? What else do you recommend, if anything at all? We really have beautiful restaurants. Yes. Great food. Yes. Amazing people. Yes. Amazing places to visit. Yes. As you can see, the national park itself. Yes. And the national park is within the city of Nairobi. Wow. And is, that is something you don't get 
everywhere yeah. and also not even Nairobi even Kenya itself when you visit Mombasa we have very beautiful white sand beaches yes. yes all right guys and i believe and if i'm wrong please correct me i believe Nairobi is the only city with a national park in africa you know so that's that's very unique yes. all right so now we're going to go talk to the manager and try to hear and learn a little bit more about the business once again, thank you so much, Nicole, for your time today. You're very much welcome, and thank you for visiting 15 Rooftop. We would love to host you again. And everyone out there who's watching, we would love to host you in Nairobi at 15 Rooftop. Perfect. Thank you so much. You're very much welcome. Right. So guys, lastly, let me go ahead and show you this specific lounge over here. This is the Generali Lounge, and this is where we're going to continue and finish my uh, presentation of this amazing rooftop bar here in Nairobi. So, I'm here with, uh, I forgot your title. Uh, Jesse, I'm the marketing manager. Jesse, the marketing director, manager. Yeah. Okay, so why is this place called Generali Lounge? Thank you so much for the opportunity. So, we... We commissioned the designs based on something different, something yes. that's not seen in Nairobi or Nairobi, Kenya. So we, generally is basically Swahili meaning for general, yes. um, but then now a female version of a general, generally. The idea was also just to pay homage to basically our freedom fighters or the people who fought for freedom, Kenya independence 1963. Yes. A lot is spoken about the generals, but not the female generals. So that's why generally, maybe you can show them the beautiful portrait. Yes, absolutely. You know? Yeah. It was commissioned by a very famous artist in Kenya called Bank Slave. Yeah. It's very, very dope. So generally, it's more of a refined VIP rooftop from 15. Yes. We needed to create a different space. As you can see, it has very beautiful views of oh, the expressway, the newly yes. built expressway. Also, the fire, you can see the city skyline. Yes. You can see all the city skyline. And also, this side, you can see the Gong Hills. Oh. So it gives you, it's more of a 360 view of Nairobi. Yes. You know? We are the only VIP lounge in Nairobi sitting on the 15th floor and we're very proud of that. Also, the experience that we we intend to give our clients or our guests is basically more of a violent spoken vibe in Nairobi, you know? Yes. Yes, so guys, I did notice here they have a military theme. A lot of the different portraits in several of the lounges they have downstairs have military people featured. So I'm going to ask them, to tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, so at 15 Rooftop, we mm -hmm. wanted to create a different narrative, a different perspective of what Nairobi is. Yes. And we wanted to also challenge the expectations of our guests. So that's why we, uh, we went with the uh, military theme. You can see generally named after a female general. All the portraits were commissioned from scratch. We wanted to challenge expectations. And that's why we went with the military theme. All our spaces are based on iconic sites from Nairobi. Also the views, each space all for, offers different views of Nairobi. This specific lounge, Generali Lounge, offers views of the city skyline. Yes. Also, be able to see the Wilson Airport. Also, be able to see the Gong Hills from the far end. Yes. Uh, and the newly built expressway. Okay. Yeah. So, everybody in the world has been affected by COVID in some fashion. You know, individuals and companies. What happened here during COVID for your business, for this for this beautiful rooftop, and how are you guys bouncing back from that? So the funny story is we actually opened during COVID. It was an uphill task. First of all, ensuring that all the safety measures are in place to ensure that our guests feel safe yes. and cure while at 15 rooftop. Yes. We are a very small space, intimate lounge. We can do around 200 people, but the different sections made it a bit better for us to be able to work with our social distancing very well. Yes. And then now, I think the good thing for us was from there to just a trajectory going up because yes. at least we had we, we knew where we wanted to start from and knew where we were going yes. so the journey was the, the, the journey was very beautiful and we are grateful for how far we will, we've been able to come okay yeah. all right so is there a national drink in kenya or what cocktail should you recommend anyone that comes over here so what is the signature uh, our signature cocktail is actually called generally generally yeah. oh, okay it's our fans favorite uh we've only had good things about it so when you come to 15 make sure you ask for generally cocktail it's liquid gold to put it that way what is it made with so it's a gin based cocktail also has some chili flavor to it yeah uh, very very nice i think you'll have to have a taste before okay you. absolutely yeah. i would love yeah. to try one of those yeah so thank you so much for your time for allowing me to film over here today Hey guys, many people don't know places like this exist. So what I'm trying to do with this video is show you a very unique setting where you can come and have some drinks, enjoy the beautiful view of the city of Nairobi. So thank you again for your time today and I uh, appreciate it. Thank you so much for meeting. We're looking forward to welcoming you all. 15 Rooftop should be your next home. Karibu sana Kenya. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Nice. All right.
Don't leave me high and dry 